Campi Flegre had a massive eruption 40,000 years ago. Learn more about the recent activity around Italy's Campi Flegre region and whether it means a supermassive volcano is erupting. The Campi Flegre, Flegrean Fields area of Italy, is no stranger to volcanic activity. One of the largest eruptions in the area occurred about 40,000 years ago, covering the area in ash and blowing out a nine-mile-wide caldera. A recent study in Communications, Earth and Environment discusses another major volcanic eruption that occurred in the area 109,000 years ago, known as Madaloni slash X6. However, the area is now home to about 400,000 people, and with increased seismic activity, understanding this volcano is more important than ever. The Campi Flegre Caldera has been bubbling for the past 75 years, The last time it erupted was in 1538, and according to historical records, the activity leading up to the eruption, rapid ground uplift, was similar to the activity seen today. However, it may have died down without an eruption. While there's no way to predict if or when a volcano will erupt, it's unlikely we'll see a major volcanic eruption like the ones we've seen in the past in our lifetimes. However, there are teams working to better understand how the volcano works, so we can be as prepared as possible. Campi Flegre is one of the most studied volcanic areas on the planet, but there's still a lot to learn about it. In this new study, the team used high-resolution seismic imaging and rock physics experiments on samples from a well in the caldera to reconstruct images of its internal structure. From these images, the team identified three key structures that work together to control the distribution of microseismicity and ground deformation, the study authors wrote in the article. These structures include a layer of protective fibrous cap rock just below the surface. Beneath it lies a gas-enriched reservoir filled with water and steam.
team of researchers, some of whom also worked on the nature communication study, has been investigating methods to reduce the level of groundwater and the flow of water that might end up in the volcanic reservoir in order to reduce seismic activity as well.